What well, going future millionaires? Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, I'm at one, two, three camera angles and I am in a special place today. I am at the JMMB head office and today I will be talking about retirement. And I know that a lot of people have the questions in their mind. Yo, I'm young. What does retirement have to do with me? Well, this is what we're going to answer today in this video. And I have a special guest. I'm just going to let her introduce herself. Camille Stair, Senior Corporate Manager of Fund Services here at JMMB Fund Managers. And I'm properly your retirement cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I love the vibes. I love the vibes. So, let me just start off. Quick question. Yes. I'm going to be 30 in June. Yes. And uh, retirement was... Or retirement is something that is not in my train of thought right now. The only thing I focus on right now is the millions. But I'm coming to the realiza realization mm -hmm. that if nothing works out for me right now in mm -hmm. life, what do I have to fall back on? I want to ask, like, what is the real importance of retirement, especially for somebody in my age group or even younger? Should it be something that we should focus on? I have to. And you... You say millionaires, right? Yeah. It's not just millionaire for the short term, for the medium term. It's for the long term. What you want to do, you're setting yourself up to win throughout your entire life cycle. And that is why you need to have that focus. Because you don't want to be panicking, you know, when you hit age 50 and you say, but wait, me not have enough. What mm -hmm. is going to happen when I stop actively working? You need to make sure that you're building up that financial resilience. And it is important. So a lot of persons say, because they say, retirement, it not sound exciting. No, man, that's all for old people. No, negative base on that. What needs to happen is that you need to say, this is what I need to assess as it relates to my streams of income mm -hmm. that I'm going to be getting when I stop actively working. And what are those streams of income? How is it that I can maximize each so that when I can enjoy the fruits of my labor as it relates to whether it is pursuing my passion projects or traveling, whatever it may be. Because you're doing that all throughout your life cycle, you know. But you want to make sure that right up until the end that you have that sustainability, which is key. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned now that retirement very important mm -hmm. and we should be able to enjoy our lives not only now mm -hmm. but in the future. Mm -hmm. But how can somebody start building up that retirement fund? Like my last, like I don't mean, I mean, know how to do it. Like my workplace don't do it, and everybody is saying to to drop a pension or, or or invest some money, but I just don't know where to start. So the first place that you need to start is in terms of uh, you're going to do an assessment. And we have what we call the ABC framework as it relates to retirement planning. And that ABC framework is not only for long term, but is for any financial goal that you have. So you're going to be doing an assessment. And you're going to be saying, okay, what is it? Yes, I have these particular financial goals. But again, it comes back to what is my retirement? What is my long-term savings plan? Mm -hmm. When I finish or stop working, so you're employed at a particular entity, they might have a retirement age of 60, 65. Mm -hmm. When I stop working at age 60 or 65 with this organization, what is it that is going to replace that income? Mm -hmm. So that is going to be a benchmark in terms of replacement. Mm -hmm. And even if you're an entrepreneur, somebody say, no, I'm not working, no, I'm not employed with anybody. So, you know, because I'm an entrepreneur and I'm hustling, hustling and mm -hmm. making the money, making the millions, going to be a millionaire. But eventually, you're going to have to slow down. Yeah, like we can't so, hustle for you. Ex you like. can't, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there must be a time when you're going to pause. Mm -hmm. So in that pause, when that happens, what do you have? What are the streams of income that you can depend on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is, so that is going to be your motivating factor in terms of starting now. Mm -hmm. And starting now in the sense that, and that is why we said the ABC framework, because you're going to be doing an audit. And you say, okay, when I stop actively working, say, we're going to do a benchmark. Giving yourself that benchmark is going to help you know your retirement numbers. Mm -hmm. Because you're saying, okay, if I stop working at, say, age 60, um, how much income do I want to replace? Is it 80%, 90%, 100%? What am I going to be getting the sources of income? Mm -hmm. Persons are saying, yeah, man, we're going to have, like, NIS. And we say, we know so that that is not sufficient. So you're going to be saying, okay, 
I have a part, I have the NIS National Insurance Scheme, and I'm a part of an approved pension arrangement. Mm -hmm. And that approved pension arrangement you now is going to give you that uh, benefit as it relates to even tax savings. You're going to try and maximize your contributions if you're a part of a pension arrangement. And that is your second pillar in terms of source of income. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be looking on the third pillar, whether it is you're going to be investing in bonds, equities, getting that additional sources of income. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing, you know, as it relates to your long-term financial goals, retirement planning specifically, you're doing an audit of all of the sources of income and making sure that you're contributing and maximizing each. Nice. So audit myself. So that's, that's in a way, you're finding my baseline, like how much cash mm -hmm. do I need for, let's say, a month-to-month -month basis exactly. to cover, let's say, if I still have a mortgage that time, hopefully not. <laughs> so if I still have a mortgage... Mm -hmm. Then JPS bill, water, grocery, hopefully all the kids are finished with school and hopefully. everything. Mm -hmm, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So everything else is just what is my baseline to survive exactly. each month. Do you want to not only survive but mm -hmm. thrive? Mm -hmm. And the importance to, in terms of thriving is that you have to start thinking about it now. Mm -hmm. It cannot be when you hit, up at, like you hit age 50 and you say, so, hmm, what I have in place? That time you have 10 years, 15 years that you would not have maximized or looked on anything. Can, it, it's not going to carry you to that place. Huh? Mm. Okay, so I get that. But wouldn't that, wouldn't focusing on retirement right now hinder my other financial goals? Let's say, I have a goal right now. I mm -hmm. want to save six months of mm -hmm. my day-to-day -day living mm -hmm. expenses. Because I did that calculation. I know my expenses for the month. Mm -hmm. I want to save up six months of that just in case I decide to go full-time with this business. <laughs> Why <laughs> or, not? <laughs> or, or worst case scenario, my bosses are like, boy, Demetrius, you know, I'll pull away. It's you not know. work out. It's not work out. I feel like you go. Like, and also, I'm an avid investor so mm -hmm. i love to save in dividend stocks i want cash flow that's my investment and strategy that is a, that is mm -hmm. one of the ways that in terms of building out your retirement portfolio i'm on the right track yes <laughs> so what you want to do you know you're on the right track you know and it is the consistency of that mm -hmm. um because and that is a part of the abc framework the consistency because one of the things you said you know you have other goals exactly. and we know that mm -hmm. but uh, it is better you put five hundred dollars towards what the long-term goal as mm -hmm. it relates to retirement planning more than you put zero dollars mm -hmm. because what you want to do is have the consistency from early out mm -hmm. from your start you, you start working, you enter the workforce, you need to have the consistency of contributions mm -hmm. so that you can build out your portfolio okay, and your nice. accumulated amount. I get you, I get you. So that means I just have to put it as a priority then. So what instruments, though, could I use to attain that retirement goal? Mm -hmm. Let's say I, I can't pick stocks to save my life. Mm -hmm. I don't know the first thing on the stock market. Mm -hmm. And since we're at JMB today, like, mm -hmm. are there any instruments or services that you provide that could help me along this retirement journey? JMB is the place outside of the financial advice that persons will get when you have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. Mm -hmm. And that is our passion as it relates to engaging with the customer and having that one-on-one -on -one conversation. And that is going to let me say, okay, fine, based on your age, based on your risk appetite, whether you're conservative, moderate, or aggressive, mm -hmm. I can tell you this is maybe in terms of your stock portfolio, how we can build out your stock portfolio, whether it is bond portfolio, and we said this is what we're going to put in the basket, so to speak, in terms of build out of your entire retirement portfolio. Mm -hmm. But what JMB has to offer is the first in the second pillar, which is an approved retirement scheme, which is JMB Retirement Solutions. It is for persons who are not a part of a pension arrangement, and they can walk to the doors of JMB and say, look here now, I'm not a part of an approved pension arrangement and I want to 
start planning. I want to have that source of income, that additional source of income. So they will become members of the JMB Retirement Solutions um, fund that we have, and they will start making contributions. And then what I would say to them is that they need to maximize that. Mm. So you can get up to 20%, the law allows, as it relates to maximizing contributions. And who don't want to save tax? All right, so when did just start work? <laughs> When I just started to work, you know, no rent, <laughs> I just start work, and it was a reasonably good job in mm -hmm. Jamaican standards. Mm -hmm. I was making decent money, so no rent, and I was only just to cover light bill and, 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 and internet, so mm -hmm. that was good for me. And I said, hmm, some pension scheme um, uh, investors, they came, um, advisors, they mm -hmm. came to the power plant and, and they sold us some some pension scheme. So we, mm. we signed up and I was saying, 15%. Let me do 15% because I didn't know anything about it. I'm saying, yes. ah, mm -hmm. it's pension, it's for the future, I'll do it. But then I see the paycheck, I see 15% of the salary come out. I'm like, that's a lot of money. I could use the money in something else, but I came to the realization mm. now that I could actually save on taxes by putting more up the front money, to the pension. So I, I dropped it from 15 to 5. But no, the other day, I did the um, salary de deduction mm -hmm. form and I brought it up to 20. Max. Max it out. Because you have seen the light and you're heading to it. Yes, <laughs> man. I've seen the light because I'm saving. Some people might not see it as an upfront, month-to-month -month saving. But in the long run, it is because, as you said, that money gives me some tax benefits. So, yeah, so you'd get ex the tax explain benefit. more about so tax benefits. What though. happens is that the contribution is taken up before tax is applied. Mm -hmm. And because of that, in effect, you're paying you're less in terms of the tax rate. Mm -hmm. When that is applied, you're paying over less to the government of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And if you get, that is a big win. No, <laughs> no, it's a big, no. It's not like a normal win, you know. That is a big win, yeah, the tax yeah, savings. Yeah. So if you're getting, and remember, you know, whatever investment that you're doing, you know, you're doing it after tax dollars, you know. So your mm -hmm. money has to work harder for you, you know. Mm -hmm. So that is why sometimes some persons, when they're panicked, when I say panic, when they reach like probably 50 and they're said, no, man, but I don't have anything. They're hunting down returns. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to have that panic type of mindset when you're trying to, you know, go in or even think about your future. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to make more informed decisions. You don't want to be panicked in terms of hunting down returns because that is going to possibly put you behind as it relates to even some of the investments that you're exploring. Start from early mm -hmm. so that you would have explored, one, what are your sources that you're going to be getting? One, am I contributing to the NIS? And for a lot of self-employed persons, they don't, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. They don't make that contribution to the NIS. And that is one source of income. Yeah. And then the second is that, oh, wait, I'm a part of an pension arrangement. Mm -hmm. Let me maximize my contribution. Mm -hmm. Because if you, don't, if you don't have that particular mindset, again, it is going to come. It is going to, one, may result in old age poverty. Mm -hmm. You're going to possibly be dependent on people. Mm -hmm. And gone are the days when you can say you're going to rely on your children. Because them have it hard. No. Even and they're in the struggle bus. Even though our incomes. <laughs> Sometimes. Even though our, our incomes now are drastically more than mm -hmm. what our parents' mm -hmm. incomes were. The cost of living, inflation. Um, it erode. One word, it, yeah. Kingston. <laughs> Kingston is just a very hard place to live. Whether so it is the rent, whether it is just buying rent, groceries. The schools, the grocery, everything, the wiper man. Man, the blue, I can't. Let me get five bills up. So five bills. <laughs> Clean off the windshield. We said, whoa. Sorry for breaking the video, but yeah, that was just part one of this amazing talk about retirement planning. So if you're interested in this video and you're interested in the topic of retirement planning, then never fear because part two will be coming out next week. So be tuned to this channel if you want to be a future millionaire rather sooner than later, then don't miss these uploads and ring that notification bell. As always, thank you to JMMB for partnering with me on these videos so that I could bring the financial gems, the financial tips to you guys so that we can all be one step closer to our financial dreams. Until next time, work hard, make money, make a lot of it, and happy investing.